What's up, Terabytes? I'm Tara with Tara Simon Studios. And I'm Coach Kat. And today, we're going to be talking about how to stand when singing. What's the proper singer stance? Because that's a thing. Stay tuned. We've got some great stuff for you today. Okay guys, so how to stand while singing. What is the proper singer's stance? A lot of times, especially as women, we're in heels and we can kind of bobble back and forth, the feet are together. Um, and sometimes we can overdo it too. Um, and so the proper singer's stance is really beneficial for a singer for a couple different reasons. One, it makes you look really confident and really great mm -hmm. on stage, okay? That's so right. aesthetically speaking, you're snatched. You're ready to, you know, look <laughs> like off. someone. That's right. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, the reason that it's really uh, vocally sound advice to take a singer stance and use it in application when you're performing is because it also creates much better posture than you would normally be at rest at your neutral and it allows you to take better breaths be more grounded into yourself and therefore hold notes longer hit higher notes have better vocal agility because you have a bigger cavity here in which to take in breath and then in which to allow breath to leave your body okay so step number one that's the why of why you need to learn the proper singer stance coach cat is going to tell you the first step and how to execute the singer stance let's get into it all right y'all let's get into step two so what we're going to be focusing mostly is on our lower half of our body i call it the money maker probably <laughs> we all know we all know so what we're going to do is we're going to make sure our feet are hip and shoulder width apart okay so what's tara is doing right there yep. now whichever is your dominant side now i'm a righty tara's a lefty so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put my right foot you see where your big toe is on your other foot you're going to put your right foot and kind of line with your toe, okay, forward. Now she's gonna do the same thing with her left foot. So I'm gonna take my left heel mm -hmm. and I'm gonna line it up with the toe of my right foot. Right, just like that, okay? This is go. too much, this is too little. <laughs> it's just in line. If you, if you drew a line from your right toe, in my case, to my left heel, it would just be a straight line in front of me. Okay? Right, right, and don't make your you know leg stiff and straight. I mean, you're not bending like this when you're singing. You really want to still have a little bend to your knee. Yep. So you give yourself enough support when you're trying to either it's with a low note or even a high note. You want to make sure that you're comfortable and able to access that you know that bottom support base. You yeah, need. right. You're getting, you're drawing your power from the ground up. Right. My daddy always used to say, and he's not a singer by any stretch of the imagination. He'd be like, sing from your toes. And I'm like, what are you feel the about? energy from the earth. Yeah. Yeah, but he was yes. right. You, you get it from the ground up. He really yeah. was right. He, he, yeah. he was on to something. So guys, step number two, make sure that you are aligning your bottom half of your body in the way that we're doing. I'm the lefty. Catherine is the right-handed right. one. And this is what it should look like from your waist down. And we're moving on to step number three next. Okay guys, so step number three is the upper half of our body for the singer stance. Remember, we've already gotten hip to shoulder width apart. If you're right or left-handed, if you're left, your left foot is in front of you. If you're right, your right foot is in front of you in line with your other standing leg. Hocus pocus. The hocus pocus. Hokey pokey. Hokey pokey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still on y'all. Dang. So moving on, upper half of your body, you're going to interlace your fingers just like this, okay? And now, once I interlace my fingers, I'm going to flip them upside down and take them up above my head, okay? Feels real nice, okay? Yeah. Um, then I'm going to take my shoulders and I'm gonna move them up towards my ears. Coach Cat's gonna help me push them up. Push them up. Oh, that feels so good. Okay, and then I'm just gonna simply drop them back down. Boom, like that, okay? Yeah. And once I do that, I feel that my chest coming out, I feel my back kind of arching a little bit more, my posture is aligned, okay? Once I have that down, I'm gonna, I'm about to hit Coach Catherine here. I'm gonna bring my arms down to the side, okay? And that is where my rib cage expands, that's where my lung capacity is greater, I am confident, I'm in a confident stance and pose, and I'm ready now to sing, okay? Give us a 360. Of oh, how it's okay. supposed to. So, so there this would be <laughs> bodybuilder over here. <laughs> this no. <laughs> this would be this would be from. Uh, and you really only need the side. I'm not right. turning to the back. <laughs> but, okay, we keep the PG. <laughs> <laughs> right. So this would be from the side because it is valid actually. So if I'm normally standing, okay, right. This is just how I am. If I'm in the singer stance, I fix my hips, okay, and then I interlace my fingers and bring them up. I hunch up. 
I bring them back down, and I look completely different from the side. I know I feel completely different. My spatial awareness from my abdomen all the way up to my clavicle is so much greater. I have so much more space, and then I'm able to utilize that space by filling it up with air with a nice front side back breath. And again, I'm a more powerful singer. I can hold notes longer. My vibrato is more relaxed. I have better vocal agility because I have more control over my breath because I have more breath to begin with. And it all starts with the singer's stance. So how to properly stand while singing, guys? The first step is why it's important. The second step is hips down, feet shoulder width apart, your dominant leg forward. The second step is interlace those fingers, bring them up, shoulders up, shoulders down, and down to your side. And that is the proper singer stance, guys. And in case you haven't noticed, we got some merch going on here. That's Isn't right. That cute? I didn't know I was wearing that. Coach Cat doesn't wear pink, but she did for me today because, well, she can't tell me no. Yeah, so. I don't wear pink, <laughs> y'all. So make sure you grab some merch. Make sure you also check out the description box below. There's all sorts of amazing links there to help you on your vocal journey. We love helping you guys. We're so proud of you. You're the best part of our channel. Make sure you spread faith, not fear. Love, not germs. Be a blessing in a stranger's life because that's how we change the world, guys. We love you. We're proud of you. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye. So now you're here again knocking at my door A little too late for, I'm sorry for The lights went out cause you kept cutting the cord And I started to fade into your grave See I finally opened